Now let's quickly do the distinguish between fraud and misrepresentation. Again, our first point of distinction would be the definition. We know the definition of fraud, we know the definition of misrepresentation. In fraud, the intention to deceive is present. In misrepresentation, there is no intention to deceive. Second, knowledge of the truth. Does the person who is committing fraud have the knowledge that he is making a false statement? Yes, he has the knowledge here. He has the knowledge, but a person does not have the knowledge that he is making a false statement would be said to be doing a misrepresentation. Recession of a contract. Recession means cancellation or termination. Can the agreed party resign the contract? Can he can cancel the contract? Can he avoid the contract? Yes. The agreed party can resign the contract. And he can claim damages as well. That is whatever loss he has gone through, whatever loss he has encountered or experienced or incurred, he can claim the damages for the same. Here also, the contract can be re resigned. Because in both the cases, the contract is voidable. So in both the cases, the contract can be resigned. However, the point of distinction here is in fraud, damages can be claimed and here damages cannot be claimed. Means to discover the truth. Now the person who is committing the fraud, can he say that the counterparty had the means to discover the truth because he was making a false statement? The counterparty had the means, had the chance to discover the actual reality, the truth. No, he cannot say that in the court. Even though the counterparty had the means to discover the truth, he cannot claim that. It will still be said that he has committed the fraud because there was an intention to deceive the counterparty. So, even though the counterparty had the means to discover the truth, it will still be considered as a fraud and he cannot claim that the injured party had the means to discover the truth. So because of this reason, this contract is void. No, this contract would be voidable at the option of the injured party even though he had the means to discover that. But in case of misrepresentation, the person making the misrepresentation can always say, I agree that I stated something which is false. However, I did not intend to deceive you. At the same time, the counterparty had the means to discover the truth. So, this contract should not be avoided. Can he, can he say so? Yes. If the counterparty has the means to discover the truth, the party making misrepresentation can claim that the injured party has the means to discover the truth. So this will not be considered as misrepresentation and the contract will remain valid. Here the contract will remain voidable. Okay, move ahead. 